Hi people. I want to do a short video on how to install a ZWO electronic automatic focuser bracket onto a Mead Schmidt cast grain. I have a LX200 ACF. Uh, it's a 10 inch telescope. So let me get to that. So this is the me 10 inch uh, Schmidt cast grain with various uh, assembly accessories on it, uh, which are all ZWO. This is the regular focus knob on the back of the Mead. And uh, because I do remote astronomy, I don't want to have to go out and focus manually. Uh, I can use a, the ASI Air through a laptop or a tablet, I'm sorry, uh, to control all aspects of this scope once it's set up in polar aligned outside. So we will take off that knob. Dooby dooby dooby. All you have to do is remove these scrub screws on the knob. Well, just back them off, back them out some. And this knob will basically unscrew. from the uh, brass shaft or screw of the telescope's focuser. There we go. Got that off. And there's the shaft. I've measured this shaft. Uh, diameter is somewhere around 12.7 millimeters. So that's important. And we'll get to that in a minute. So then now that we have the focusing knob, the external knob off, we're gonna remove these three button head screws that holds in a circular plate that surrounds the brass screw that's connected to a shaft that moves the mirror inside the telescope tube thus getting the desired focus so that comes off this will stay it's a little plate let me see here little plate there is three threaded holes for the screws um, this thing I actually did have it off at one point. Uh, there are several plastic washers on there on both the front and the back. I believe they're for spacing. Don't lose them. Leave it on there. So, okay, focus or knob. This is the uh, electronic automatic focus module from ZWO which is basically a stepping rotor with some control electronics that's driven by software of your choice and this needs a bracket to hold it on. Originally I had bought what's called a Buckeye Stargazer bracket and this got me through I don't know, at least six months worth of work but it is a 3 3D printed assembly and uh, the screws started stripping out of course I love to over tighten stuff too but basically it started slipping I tried to fix it as you see we've got all kinds of damage going on there mostly self inflicted but anyway this uh, piece, 
I don't believe it's built to last forever. So, recently, when that started to give me problems, I ordered the ZWO focusing bracket. And this is for a Celestron scope, but it can be fairly easily mounted on a Mead system. That shaft is about 12.7 millimeters, and this bracket and the coil uh, coupler that's used with it is uh, slightly larger that than that, 12.8, 12.9 millimeters, and will fit nicely over the shaft. And then, of course, this is all aluminum, so it's not going to wear out anytime soon. And uh, yeah, there's your back bracket. That's the spacing out for the motor, and then the motor will connect on here facing that way that way so a few screws come with this come on probably lose them all um, but the important point is they don't quite fit a me they'll they'll grab somewhat but they're a little bit small and fortunately for me the Buckeyes Stargazer uh, focuser bracket had screws that are the right size so that was my solution basically you have to have uh, screws that are a little bit longer than the little button heads and that are the right size for the holes three holes that surround the focuser shaft so what we're gonna do here is mount this piece onto that assembly and we have to get the screws through the the large board out uh, holes in the piece the bracket and then through the little bracket and into the hole you see there and I'm not going to do that with one hand so I'll try to come back in when I have it almost assembled okay I can't resist trying to do this with oh, look at that one free hand but the other holding the case oops Okay, I didn't say it was a smart thing to do, I just said I couldn't resist doing it. So, but we're going to do all three screws up like so. So we're going to have a bracket here. So here's what the bracket looks like installed onto the focuser. We see the three screws screwed in tight and uh, the bracket is ready for the uh, to accept the motor and the coil this uh, I keep calling it coil coupler coupler goes on the shaft like so this will I'll show you beforehand mount to the back of this with the motor shaft uh, being in the smaller hole of the coupler, the other end of the coupler. One thing I forgot to mention is when you do go to install this, it's a good idea to install it so the, the flat on the shaft is facing to wherever, in whatever direction, that you can reach a grub screw on the coil with this is the first time I put it on I had it on the bottom and uh, yeah that just makes life harder
Okay, we have uh, everything tightened up somewhat for demonstration purposes. And the coupler is somewhat aligned with both shafts here. Um, and that brings us to a problem that I wanted to show people before they get too far into this. Um, this can be made to fit on both shafts, but as you can see, the coil is rather short to get it firmly on both of these shafts because those grub screws have to go over it and pretty much if you got grub screws on one side then it's barely catching on the other side so the solution I see for that which I'm going to try I have not as of yet is to remove this plate and cut the last part off of here. The reason I'm doing that is because there is no room for this thing to move back on this particular model of scope. So it's aluminum. I don't think we're talking too big of a deal. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, just wanted to show that we'll remove this shaft or remove this piece of the bracket here which is just two screws that will come right off and then we take this out to the garage and uh, try to cut this last piece off so we can get this thing to uh, where the coupler fits over each shaft more than it does now. Okay, I'm back, and this thing is minus one slot. There's that little, oops, don't tell nobody, but it's fine. It should work, and I'm going to place that on there. Okay, much, much better than new. You could almost take two off, I'm sure, if you wanted to. But with this cut down some, we get plenty of room on either side. So, that'll definitely work. Grub screws can properly grip the shafts and we'll be on our way. All connected nice and tight. Put this in and see if. Connect it manually. You can do that. Uh, hmm. Okay. E A F manually. There we go. Okay. Uh, I happen to know. Focus was at about 39.4 here, so we'll change this to So we can get the uh, the grub the other grub screws 
Yeah. Tighten these guys down. This one I had to pull uh, a grub screw up, which is a little bit shorter from my uh, original ZWO packet that comes with uh, the uh, EAF box comes with its own bracket and some couplers and one of the grub screws on this was a little bit off size so that's all it works and I hope it works forever and ever and so it can be done fairly easily to order and install this particular bracket that's made for Celestron C8 or C9.25 and you can install it onto a Mead Schmidt cast grain let me just Let that roll. Nice. A lot of little screws to fumble with, but overall, not a major undertaking. And as I had said, if you wanted to, you could probably use the bracket as is, but it fits a lot more snugly, uh, completely onto the shafts if you cut one or two of these slots off. So, in my case, I did one. Hope this helps, guys. Take care.